you took just an epic vacation. I followed along on Instagram. The photography was beautiful. You were in India with your husband. I was. So yes. she brought us all the pictures. We're going to drool over the pictures now. You you look at the photography and you think, you know, as a designer, um, there are so many people getting inspiration when they travel abroad, and you must have gotten a lot of that. I got so much inspiration. And now with Instagram, it, you can share it as you go. It was so much fun nice. for both of us to be taking pictures as we went. And we actually started, um, um, well, the shot that's coming up first, I think. I was there with LT to see some of the um, amazing rug makers there. So yeah. it's really cool to see them actually hand weaving the rugs. A lot of them are knotted, beautiful intricacy. And I went with Jamie Metric. And just to see the mm -hmm. whole process of the rugs that you buy on the floor, there and then bringing them back home um, was kind of amazing. I and think of India as color. Yeah, right. color, it was. Beautiful right. color. Well, look at this mix of old and new, though, in this picture. You just saw a man on a cell phone. Yes. Uh, but, you know, inside one of the oldest buildings, like yeah. a, a beautiful yes. uh, that was, uh, old building. I that's love a that Jane picture. Temple. Um, so it is, you, uh, you would die to see how intricate the carving is in yes. those buildings. It's unbelievable. And that guy was one of the keepers of the temple, and he's on his cell phone. In those yeah. And I pants. caught him right in that moment. He was like texting or something. It's so yeah. weird. That's so cool. The whole mix of it. Yeah. Very cool. Um, um, and then the step wells, uh -huh. those are a big part of India. You find them all over, um, mostly Rajasthan, which is where we were. Mm -hmm. Those beautiful wells with all the steps, and you've seen them in Bollywood films. And then we stayed at a hotel in Devigar, where they designed the pool off of that same idea of the steps <laughs> moving into the pool, but not as deep. Oh, nice. Um, so beautiful, and so many, uh, yeah, like you said, the colors. Such a rich culture. Yes, Such a rich well, when culture. you talk about color as well, marigold. So there yes. was a certain festival going on, and the Navrati marigolds were absolutely on. everywhere. Yeah. So those flowers were everywhere. You'd see people in the streets um, streaming the garlands together mm -hmm. um, and handing them out for people to you know pay homage with yeah. um, and then every hotel that we stayed in had a giant bowl of marigolds to welcome you I bought a little teeny teeny tiny one oh, that's <laughs> nice. because oh, that? I, I couldn't fit the giant one in my wow. suitcase yeah that was gonna be like, tough I have to bring a little bit back <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, it weighs four million pounds uh, but yeah it's just such a beautiful um, sort of um, you know ritual to right. welcome people into a space and all their sense of which ritual is so beautiful. So I mentioned that um, Ariz was there as well, yes, your husband, was. and yes. I'm looking at both their accounts and I'm thinking these two are up to snuff on their photography. <laughs> um, his pictures were equally gorgeous, but one one uh, photo that you took, mm -hmm. I think probably just with your iPhone, yes. in the middle of a storm, Yes, is that this is the sort of thing that should be art in yeah. someone's living room. It is absolutely stunning. Just a tree, yeah. like being blown. It was so crazy. We were driving to meet some of the weavers. Yeah. Yes. way out in the country this crazy is. storm oh came up goodness. and you're in the desert so when a storm comes up it's sandy and it was quite scary and yeah. everything was blowing around and I just went like this and that's through the glass in the car, right? Wow. And I was like, oh, I love that. I want to blow it up really big and yes. hang it somewhere in the house, right? Yeah. And that's one of the great things about traveling now with the quality of cameras. You can yeah, you can bring home art um, from your experiences. Yeah. Can you guys think of any recent vacations you've been on and they were they they inspired you so much when you got back home? You just had those images in your mind. You know, I think the um, so we were in Maui. Uh, last year mm -hmm. and we climbed um, I can't remember the name of the mountain but you climb up and um, it's just switchbacks um, one after the other and you get to the top of the uh, this mountain it's 10,000 feet above mm -hmm. sea level wow. and you get out of your car and you're above the clouds. Yeah. Yes. Wow. See, I wouldn't be able to handle that. <laughs> it's very high. Very high. It's, oh my gosh, but beautiful. But the colors yeah. are what inspired me. That The beautiful soft blues mm -hmm. and then you see this gorgeous pink running through the, the cloud. And it just was, that's, I, I took away from that uh, just a real sort of ethereal. Palette. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. color is a huge thing yes. because yeah. the light is always different in different parts of the world. So suddenly you feel something fresh about a palette that you're seeing, whether it's in the clouds or on the walls in a palace or mm -hmm. fabrics and all the saris in India, for instance. It's hard to reproduce that here. I know. Because the sun is so different. It's so yeah. different. You have it to be careful. Different. And that's why you have to do your, your test palettes on the wall. Exactly. Oh, really? Lots yeah. of samples. Yes. Yes. Lots of samples.